doggy and pussy cat and how they washed the floor. It was at the time when doggy and pussy cat were still keeping house together. They had their own little house near the forest where they lived and where they wanted to do everything just like grown-up people do. But they didn't always manage because they had small and clumsy paws and on those paws they didn't have fingers like people have, only sort of little cushions on them claws. So they couldn't do everything that people do and they did not go to school, for school is not for animals. Oh dear me no! What an idea! That's only for children. At home in their house, therefore, everything was at sixes and sevens. Some things they did well, and others they didn't, and at times their home was rather untidy. One day they noticed that the floor in their little house was terribly dirty. Listen doggy pussy cat said, the floor is somehow dirty. It seems to me that it is awfully dirty, said Doggy. Just look how my paws are grimy from that dirty floor. Yes, you have very grubby paws, answered Pussycat. Doug, that's shocking. We shall have to wash the floor. After all, people never have such dirty floors. They wash them sometimes. All right, responded Doggy, but how do we set about it? That's easy, said Pussy Cat. You go for the water and I will do the rest. Doggy went with a pail to fetch water and Pussy Cat took a bar of soap from her small suitcase and placed it on the table. Then she went to the pantry for something. She had probably put away a bit of smoked mouse. Meanwhile, Doggy came back and spotted something lying on the table. He unwrapped it and found it was sort of pinkish. Ah! That will be something good, Doggy said and, with mouth watering, he shoved the whole piece into his mouth and started chewing. The taste was not good at all. Though, Pussy Cat came back and heard how Doggy was spluttering oddly. She looked at him and saw he had a mouthful of foam and tears were running from his eyes. My goodness me, Pussy Cat cried. What is happening to you, Doggy? You must be ill. There is foam dripping from your mouth. What's the matter with you? Well, said Doggy, I found something there on the table and I thought it was a kind of cheese or a sweet bar and so I ate it. But it stings terribly and it is making foam in my mouth. What a fool you are. Pussy Cat was cross. That was soap and soap is for washing and not to be eaten. Oh, said Doggy. That's why it is stinging. Oh, oh, how it stings, it stings. Take a big drink of water, Pussycat advised him. Then it will stop stinging. Dog Eye had a drink and drank up all the water. It stopped stinging but there was a lot of foam. So he went to wipe his muzzle on the grass and then he had to go once more for water, for he had drunk it all and they had no more. Pussy Cat had a penny and she went to buy more soap. I won't eat that bar, Doggy said, when Pussy Cat brought the fresh piece of soap. But how shall we manage when we have no scrubbing brush? I've already thought about that, said Pussy Cat. You are wearing such a rough and spiky coat, just like a brush, so we can use you to scrub the floor. All right, said Doggy and Pussy Cat took the soap and the pail of water. She knelt on the floor, 
held Doggy like a brush, and scrubbed the whole floor with him. The floor was wet all over and it wasn't very clean. We ought to mop it over with something dry, Pussycat said. Do you know what? said Doggy. I am very wet but you are quite dry and you have such soft fur, like the best possible towel. So now I'll take you and wipe the floor dry with you. He picked up Pussycat and mopped up the whole floor with her. The floor was now washed and dry but Doggy and Pussycat were wet and terribly dirty from the way the one had used the other to wash the floor. As if Doggy were a brush and Pussycat a floor cloth. We do look the sight. They both said then they looked at each other. We now have a clean floor but we aren't dirty. We can go around like this. Everybody will laugh at us. We have to wash ourselves. We'll wash ourselves like they wash the linen, said Doggy. You, Pussycat, will wash me. Then I'll wash you. Good said Pussy Cat. They carried water and poured it into the wash tub. Then they took the washboard. Doggy climbed into the wash tub and Pussy Cat washed him. She rubbed him so hard on the washboard that Doggy begged her not to use so much strength as she might tangle his legs together. When Doggy was washed, Pussy Cat climbed into the wash tub and Doggy washed her and rubbed so hard on the washboard that Pussy Cat begged him not to press so much as he might make a hole in her fur. Then they wrung the water out of each other. Now we must dry ourselves, said Pussy Cat. She got the clothesline ready. First, you hang me on the line and... When I am hanging there, I'll get down and hang you up, Pussycat said to Doggy. When Pussycat was hanging, she got down from the line and hung up Doggy. There they both hung and the sun shone on them brightly. The sun is shining on us, said Doggy. We'll soon be dry. No sooner had he said it when it started to rain. It's raining. Doggy and Pussycat cried, The washing will get wet. We must take it down. They both quickly jumped down from the line and hurried home to be in the dry. Is it still raining? Pussycat asked. It has stopped, said Doggy, and he was right. The sun was shining once more. We'll hang the washing out again, said Pussy Cat. So they went and hung themselves on the line once more. First Doggy hung Pussy Cat and, when she was hanging, she got down and hung up Doggy. Then they both hung there on the line like washing and were glad that the sun was shining and that their washing would dry well. Again it started to rain. It's raining. Our washing will get wet. Doggy and Pussycat cried, Our washing will get wet. Doggy and Pussycat ran for shelter. Then the sun shone again and so they hung themselves on the line once more. Then it rained. So they ran off. Then the sun came out and they hung themselves up, and so it went on till the evening. By then they were both quite dry. Our washing is dry, they said, so we'll put it in the laundry basket. They got into the laundry basket but then they felt sleepy. They fell asleep and they both slept beautifully in the basket till morning.